How's everybody doing? This is AKA OnStar, and I'm bringing you my, shall we say, impressions of Aftermath, the new um, Battlefield 3 DLC. Now, all in all, I want to say this is a really, really good DLC. The maps are really varied. Um, I'm a little down about there not being any new weapons except for the crossbow, but I can understand um, them not wanting to include it. Scavenger. Scavenger is fun. Um, it takes a little get a little bit getting used to, especially if you're used to just pure class-based games like Call of Duty and Battlefield and you know the bad companies. Any any Modern Warfare, not Modern Warfare, Medal of Honor. Sorry, um, because the the scavenger game type it, to me it harkens back to the days of like. Quake or Unreal, or you know, even probably as far back as like Doom or Castle Wolfenstein, where you had to, you know, the only source of your guns was the floor. You had to pick them up and make do. And I kind of like that they brought that old school feel back to Battlefield, kind of a bridging of that. It made it really fun. Um, at first, I was a little off put by how it seemed that it was just PDWs versus really really strong assault rifles and it always seemed to me that I was stuck with a PDW and everyone else had the assault rifles but uh, you get used to it after a while and it's actually a lot of fun the maps are a blast uh, they kinda like, feel like if you took the tight corners and corridors of the close quarters maps stuck them in a blender with the back, back to Carcan maps you know the color palettes and whatnot and the buildings and stuck them all in there and, you know let it create a big mess. That's what these feel like with the the graphics de uh, design. Now, lots of a lo lot of the brown urban environment like Harkin, but there's tons of corridors and corners and a lot of fast-paced um, twitch shooters uh, aspects too. So that's a lot of fun. The crossbow. I really like it. I haven't unlocked the scope one yet. I'm working on it. But it's going to get a little getting used to because of the drop, at least on the base uh, bolt. But the drop, you know, you can you can easily ha um, handle that. I'm liking the one-hit kill on it. Very fun, very powerful. Kind of a what-the-hell-just-hit-me factor. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting the explosives bolt because I can finally have a way of dealing with vehicles as an assault or a recon because that's one of my biggest gripes about those two classes is there's really no way to deal with vehicles. Now there is, thankfully, and hey, there's even an achievement for it, for hitting, uh, for destroying a vehicle with, with the explosives bolt. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I'm really enjoying it. I was really getting my hopes up because I've been dealing, I've been losing interest in Battlefield lately partially because it's been so long and my main gaming partner his PS3 is in the pawn shop and it's been there forever because he keeps putting it in, pulling it out putting it in, pulling it out and so I, I'm turning into a social game where I've got to have other people to hang out with and you know joke around and have fun uh, to be able to really enjoy a game and so playing Battlefield by yourself you know with no squad support is ugh, it's so annoying sometimes and so that's part of the reason why I haven't been playing Battlefield lately, and partially why I haven't been posting. Yeah. So, I'm hoping that this new DLC will definitely help me get back into it. And, if not, you know, I've got my Battle Mag project, which I've posted a video outlining already. And so, you know, have fun. And if you want to hang out, you know, play some games or whatnot, message me. This has been AKA OnStar, and hope you all have fun.